part two of this series on Windows Movie Maker, we will look at adding transitions and effects to a movie project that we have already created. If you need help creating a movie project, please see part one, building a movie. A video transition controls the way one clip or picture in your movie moves to the next. You can add a transition between any combination of video clips, picture files, or titles on the timeline or in storyboard view. I think it's easier to add transitions in storyboard view, so I'm going to switch to storyboard view. This is timeline view. We've already created a partial movie. I'm going to go ahead and click to sh click to click storyboard view, show storyboard to switch to storyboard view because I think it's easier to add transitions on storyboard view. So here you'll see your clips and you notice in between every clip you have a box and if you hover over that box it tells you to drag a video transition here to add it between the two video clips. And so that's what we're going to do. First we need to access our video transitions. There's two ways that you can do that. Under edit movie we can go to view video transitions or we can go to the tools menu and go to view to video transitions. Here you'll see the different transitions that you have to choose from and if you scroll down you can see you have a variety of them. If you want to see what that transition looks like, simply double click on it and you should see it here play over here in the preview window. Now you might not see it play in my preview window because of the screencast, but you should see it in your window. When you find a transition that you want to use, simply click on it and drag it to the box in between your video clips. Now you have a transition that will uh, transition from this clip into this clip. Now remember that when you add a transition, it automatically shortens the end of the clip before it and a little bit of the clip after it, so keep that in mind when you're adding your transitions. Now if you think about most movies and TV shows that you watch, you don't see a lot of special computer-generated video transitions. You do, however, see that a lot in home videos, um, so you don't have to put a transition in between every clip, but you can if you want to. Um, one good thing to keep in mind, if you notice the transition more than the video, if you say, wow, that's a cool transition, then maybe you probably shouldn't use it because the video is what's supposed to stand out. All right, so we're going to switch back to timeline view to see what effect this had on our video. Now, you will need to look here at your video track. My video track is expanded. If yours is not, click the plus sign. And when you expand the video track, you'll now notice that we have a track for transitions. So if you decide you don't want to transition any longer, simply click on it in the timeline and then hit delete on your keyboard and that will delete the transition from your movie. All right, we're gonna switch back to storyboard view because the next thing that we're gonna look at are effects. A video effect determines how the video clip, picture, or title will look in your final movie. For example, maybe you filmed a movie and you decide it would really look better if it was in black and white. Well, you can add a video effect that will change the clip to black and white. I, again, think this is easier to do in storyboard view, which is why we've switched back to that. Uh, you'll notice that on each um, video clip, in the lower left-hand corner, we have a star. And if you hover over that star, it says if you drag a video effect here, you will add it to this clip. So first thing we need to do is pull up our uh, video clips. And there are two things, two ways that we can do that again. Under number two, edit movie, we can go to view video effects, or we can also go to the tools movie, tools menu, and choose video effects. Here are the different video effects, and as you scroll down, you can see here is a grayscale, which will turn your movie to black and white, or maybe you want that old age film kind of feel, you have options for that as well. Um, you can do slow motion and fast motion also in Movie Maker. So I'm going to make this video clip here black and white. So I'm going to use the grayscale effect and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it down to the star on my video clip, video clip. Now if I play through that clip, you should see then that effect that you selected is applied to your video. You may or may not see that in my preview window here. If you decide that you don't want the video effect, simply click on the star to select it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. In part three of this two series on Windows Movie Maker, we will look at adding titles and credits to see how to add text elements to your movie.